Oh. It is a cash cow. It is a cow. <laughs> Hello everyone. This is Amar Santana once again from Vaca Costa Mesa, brought by Amar Santana Laguna Beach, the whole global eater in South Coast Plaza. Today we are going to be making the one and only, the classic, the vodka steak. It's dry aged for 55 days plus beautiful marbling. Oh my God, there's so much umami flavor in this. This is from Aspen Ridge, Colorado. It's one of the best pieces of steak you could ever have. And the ingredients that we're gonna use for this are so simple, so simple that anybody could make this at home. You just have to have good quality meat. A lot of people ask me, what's the best recipe to cook a steak, right? What ingredients do you need? Basically, you need a great piece of steak, prime, ribeye, dry aged, 55 days plus, that we fix here at Vaca on a daily basis, right? We're gonna need kosher salt, we're gonna need black pepper, then we're gonna need a little bit of uh, flake salt to finish it up, and some Spanish olive oil. Simple, simple, simple. This is all about the meat and the wood burning grill that we're gonna be using today. So we're just gonna take the steak, we're gonna rub some olive oil all around it, flip it, okay? One of the keys to cook a perfect steak is you have to take them out, leave it at room temperature for a few hours so it cooks a lot faster. So when you're seasoning the steak, do not be afraid, all right? You need to season, it's a big, thick piece of steak, so don't be afraid with the salt, huh? Just make sure it gets in there. Nice amount of crushed black pepper. I'm gonna add more salt. See, don't be afraid. Okay, you wanna make sure you get the steak all around. Okay, so there you have it. You have your nice seasoned steak already sitting at room temperature, so it's gonna cook a lot faster. So we're gonna take it to the grill right now. So right now we're using citrus and red oak uh, wood in the grill uh, to cook the steak. So you just wanna put them in there. Do not touch it, just let it cook. Just let it do its thing. Oh my God, look at that. So one of the great advantages of cooking steak over wood is that wood becomes a seasoning, right? You're gonna get a nice smoky taste on that steak, right? So that's why you only need, you know, black pepper and salt, and the rest is just history. You just let that wood cook that steak, you know, penetrate that smoky flavor into it. Oh, talk about a steak. So since we cook it over wood, you have to be very, very careful so you don't burn the steak, right? So you constantly have to be flipping it, checking it, trying to find the right spot. So now that we got the steak seared all around it on the side, you got a nice caramelization going. Now we're gonna transfer this to a 400 degree oven for about five to 10 minutes. Oh, look at that. See what we got. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I know what I'm having today. What are you having? <laughs> this just came out of the oven. It's hot. It needs to carry over a little bit. All right, guys. So after 10, 15 minutes rest on the steak, this is what you got, right? So this is this is the truth. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the steak off the bone. Oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and slice it. Oh, you can see the fat, the marbling. You see how well the, you know the meat rest is nice and juicy. It's cooked perfect. So to finish it up, it's very simple. All we're gonna do is just drizzle some olive oil and a good amount of flaked Maldon salt. And this is it. This is the famous. Vaca steak. Oh. Mm. We're not getting any.